Today we are going to be looking at the science behind endothermic reactions. Those are reactions that draw in more heat than they produce, making them feel colder, such as this cold pack, which is powered by water and ammonium nitrate. The reaction that we are going to be doing today involves using the following chemicals. Barium hydroxide and ammonium thiocyanate. Normally ammonium thiocyanate is white, this however is yellow and quite slushy because it has absorbed water and when I ordered it, it arrived this way and it's very poor. Normal ammonium thiocyanate should be white and the crystals should be a lot more fine than this. Good ammonium thiocyanate should look like this, white and powdery. This is good ammonium thiocyanate. I had them send that to me as replacement for this stuff. It's very bad. This is good. This is bad. If you receive some that look like that, complain. Now, normally, barium hydroxide and ammonium thiocyanate, when they react, give off ammonia gas, form barium thiocyanate, and water. This is an endothermic reaction because you start with two products and you end up forming three products. And with the barium hydroxide, it forces the ammonium ion into ammonia gas. And the ammonia gas is then changing phase from a solid to a gas. And all these things going on are drawing in more energy than was contained in the system. So it makes it feel very cold. And the temperature that this can get to is many times colder than what you would get from just dissolving ammonium nitrate into water. We are going to look at these two reactions and compare the temperatures so I can show you the big difference between endothermic reactions between ammonium nitrate and ammonium thiocyanate. Now, whenever you react any kind of hydroxide with any ammonium salt, it's going to give off ammonia gas because you are releasing that ammonium ion and forming water in the process and then a salt of whatever your metal is in your hydroxide. The items here are good for creating a cold spell for cooling things off or whatnot like a cold pack, but you can't use these four cold packs because it gives off the ammonia gas and the rupture. So what we're going to do is we're going to measure ourselves out 20 grams of barium hydroxide, 10 grams of ammonium thiocyanate, and we're also going to give ourselves 10 grams of ammonium nitrate. We're going to fill this up to 40 milliliters of water. We're going to take our 10 grams of ammonium nitrate, which is in normal cold packs, and we are going to mix it in the water, and we are going to measure the temperature with the thermometer. Now, the camera couldn't focus on the thermometer, so I'm going to just make sure the numbers are typed on the screen, and we're going to track the numbers so you can see. I haven't yet gotten a digital thermometer, but until we do, this is how I will inform you of the temperature. Now, the temperature starts at 26 degrees C, which is room temperature, and we start mixing in the ammonium nitrate into the water solution. Now, as it dissolves, it's going to dissociate, and it takes more energy to break up that molecule than what is contained in the system. So, it requires more energy. So it draws energy in. And if we look at the temperature now, it is at 10 degrees C. So it has dropped 16 degrees Celsius because of the additional energy that the system requires. Now this is what your normal cold pack is consistent of. You bust your little water pack inside, you give it a shake, the ammonium nitrate dissolves in the water, and it cools off. Very simple, it doesn't give off any gas, and it's pretty effective. Now, if we take this out, you can see that it doesn't really focus, you can't see it. So that's why I printed the temperature there on the screen for you. 
Now, if we go and we move on to our other reaction, take this, dump it out. There we go. We'll place it back on the table. And I can show you the other reaction now. Now we take the ammonium thiocyanate first, dump that in, and then we have our barium hydroxide here, and this is one of the few reactions that can take place between two solids without any dissolving or any melting or any kind of special mixing. All you gotta do is just dump them together and stir. And the effect is nearly instantaneous once you start stirring it. So we'll dump it in and begin the reaction. See here, as soon as you start stirring, it starts to slush up as the two components react. And the smell of ammonia gas is nearly instantly obvious. Uh, don't do this reaction unless you have good ventilation, as it does give off a considerable amount of ammonia. But as you can see, it's already starting to turn to water, and it's already liquefied. Now, if we track the temperature, we can see that it drops very quickly, and nearly instantly, we are already much colder than the ammonium nitrate got. This particular mixture gets very cold. If you take a look at the temperature, we can already see we're down to 6 degrees, and the reaction has just begun. Uh, we continue to stir and agitate the solution to make sure everything comes in contact. As the mixture turns into water, the products dissolve into the water, and the action of dissolving into the water increases the rate at which it reacts. So normally some solutions warm up, and that causes them to react faster, but in this case the production of the water dissolves them into solution, and that causes it to react quicker. Um, it is now down to negative 10 degrees C. And that is much colder, if you remember, our previous temperature was only 10 degrees C. So we have dropped a considerable amount more. Now, one thing we can do is it gets so cold, you can put it into contact with some water. Usually this one is done with like a block of wood, but you know, a, a rag will do just fine in this case. Just stir it up a little bit more. We're down to negative 18 degrees right now. And if we take and now try and pull the beaker off of the towel, we will see that it is frozen to the towel. We'll try and pull it off, and it is frozen, really frozen on there. You can't get it off. So there you have it. The reaction between barium hydroxide and ammonium thiocyanate to produce an even colder endothermic reaction than dissolving ammonium nitrate into water. Thank you.